Welcome back, Summit County. You're watching Summit Sunrise this morning. I'm Lauren. I'm now joined by Nora and Fred from the town of Frisco. How are you today? Great. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. So tell me a little bit about why Fred is dressed so beautifully today. <laughs> <laughs> Fred is going to be doing the Mardi Gras for Paws Barkus Parade this weekend, which is a fundraiser for LAPS, League of Animal and People of Summit County. And this is a great organization. What they do is they help with spay and neuter programs, and then they also help with people when their dogs kind of, you know, get into a little bit of trouble. Maybe they're a little sick and they have to go to the vet. And you know how hard it is up here. Everyone's living month to month. So LAPS will come in and help them pay their rent and help them take care of other things when they have to make that difficult choice of can I take my dog to the vet or should I pay my rent? Awesome. So you yeah. definitely want to make sure that we support LAPS. Um, so tell me a little bit more about what we can expect at for the Mardi Gras parade. <laughs> well, Fred will have a little more enthusiasm than this. He's, he's, he's uh, camera shy. Well, and he's not really a morning dog, so he's kind of just, <laughs> he's still waking up. But uh, so this event is fantastic. It's $20 per dog, $5 if you want to have an additional dog. Your entire family of 10 can come along and, and partake in this. Um, but you can link to it through our website, townoffrisco.com, which is up right now. And they have a yappy hour starting at 2 o'clock. <laughs> so every registration will get you a token. You can go, you can get some Lost Cajun gumbo, you can get a delicious New Belgium beer, or um, you can get a doggy brew, which is <laughs> a special um, broth that somebody has brewed up especially for this event. And awesome. yeah, so you can hang out for about an hour and 45 minutes, 345, the parade starts, it'll go up and down Main Street in Frisco. So it'll go from 2nd Avenue to 7th and then cross the street and come back up on the other side. Okay. And then there's a costume contest, which Fred won last year. <laughs> he was a bubble bath. Uh, <laughs> and, and I was in my bathrobe and he was the winner. And um, it's, it's a great time. There's a lot of dogs out there, a lot of really great creativity, and it's, it's fantastic for a great cause. Yeah, and as you can see, we're looking through some pictures right now from last year. It is, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, parades are fun, and then you add dogs to it that are dressed up. Yes. It's, it's really great. Okay, so it all kicks off at 2 o'clock. Yep, on Saturday the 25th. On Saturday the 25th. Yappy hour. If you don't think your dog has that much patience, then just show up a little closer to 3.30. <laughs> and also, just as a side note, if your dog isn't really digging social situations, <laughs> it's best just to come out and enjoy yappy hour and enjoy this by yourself with your family and watch the creativity. Mm -hmm. If it's going to stress your dog out, leave them at home. And also, don't forget that all of town of Frisco is requiring leashes so good bring a leash good to note all right so we have um the mardi gras dog parade coming up this weekend what else is going on over at the town of frisco you guys always have a lot going we on we do <laughs> we are getting ready for next week we have the snowshoe for a cure which was formerly the tubs romp to stomp and so that's a great fundraiser for coleman of denver and um help help find a cure for breast cancer Again, you can link to that through, through our website, townoffrisco.com, Snowshoe for a Cure. It's, it's phenomenal. You see all these people come out, and they dress up, and they're all in pink, and they go snowshoeing with all their friends and, and fundraise and raise money for cancer, breast cancer research, and and hoping to find a cure. It's a really a powerful event. It's, it's great to see. Yeah, I've, this will actually be my fourth time going to the Snowshoe for the cure, and it is incredible. The costumes are, again, costumes. I feel like in Frisco, you guys always have it's costumes such a going you on. Know, any <laughs> chance you can have to dress up and get into a costume, I'm on board. <laughs> yeah, the costumes are super fun, but it is. It's very powerful. It's yeah. empowering. It's a really awesome event. So you definitely want to make sure that you check out the Mardi Gras for Paws, Laps Mardi Gras for Paws over this there. This weekend, yep. This weekend, and then sign up for the Romp to Stomp, which is is next, next weekend, weekend yeah. already the first weekend in March uh, it's crazy so really yeah. fun stuff going on and one more time how can they link to all of that 
townoffrisco.com. Townoffrisco.com. And you need to follow Fred on Instagram. I forgot to mention yes. that. <laughs> he does have his own Instagram handle, Frisco Freddy. Um, he's not usually sleeping on it. <laughs> he's out hiking and having adventures all over town and all over Colorado, really. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, Nora, thank you for joining us. Fred, thank you, thank you for joining us this morning. He's ready to go back to sleep. Um, so, yeah, you want to go to the townoffrisco.com for more information about all of the great activities that are going on in Frisco because we only talked about two and there's always so much going on over there. So check out townoffrisco.com. We're going to take a short break, but we still have a ton of Summit Sunrise in store for you. Leah is live in Breckenridge at Alpine Sports, so we'll be checking in with her. And we have our watch and win coming up a little bit later on. That's a $50 ski or board tune to Alpine Sports, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Um, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back after this.